John Baptiste. We're going straight to John. I'm not even saying welcome back. We're going straight to John. <laughs> I can't wait. Because I hear that band. Yeah. I hear that band. And yes. all I can think of is I'm going to get to hear you guys in person in two weeks. It's happening. It's going to happen. The prophecy has come true. I can't wait, man. It's, it's, it's just going to feel so good to see you and feel the audience energy. And we're going to play our hearts out. We're waiting to just give it all. So let's do it. And what, I, what gets me is that, you know, people come to see the show. Uh -huh. They don't even realize when they walk into the theater the show they're about to get just from the band. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we play all throughout the commercial breaks. And, and, and I feel like by the end of it, us and the audience and everybody on stage, we become a community. And that's what I love the most. It just yep. feels like we come together at the end. We just it. come into one big cuddle puddle at the end. <laughs> yes, <you're right. laughs> John, uh, uh, listen, can you give me a little energy to drive us into the Memorial Day weekend? Oh, yeah. Let's get the vibes going. <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> folks, yeah. folks, you know, I spend most of my time taking the finest, most topical news clippings, potting them in a fine ceramic cream tokoname pot, then lovingly pruning, wiring, and grafting them into the exquisite sharimiki bonsai tree that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I like to knock off uh, genetic editing CRISPR on the black market bypass customs agents to import some illegal Turkish nightshade, construct a botany lab under the Ed Sullivan Theater, and splice together the flesh-craving, corpse-flower-smelling Audrey 2 of news that is my segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. You're not going to believe this, but a sports fan acted like a dick. <laughs> At last night's NBA playoff game between the Wizards and the 76ers, a Philly fan literally added insult to injury by dumping popcorn on DC's Russell Westbrook as he was leaving with a twisted ankle. That is shocking. And that guy is an idiot. A tub of arena popcorn is like 19 bucks. That's why real Philly fans throw used batteries. It's economical and you're recycling. Quarantine while. An Alaska man survived a near deadly encounter with a brown bear that bit his head. The man says, it looked at me, and it came at me. And I thought, great. Because <laughs> if there's one thing that scares off bears, it's sarcasm. <laughs> nice bite. The man said of the attack, it was just wrong place, wrong time for me and the bear. Nope, hold on. Bear is not the wrong place at the wrong time. Bear is exactly where it's supposed to be. That's why on maps, all of Alaska is labeled, here be bears. Anyway, as someone who's sincerely terrified of bears, I hope this gentleman is doing well. Quarantine while. In an upcoming origin story movie, Timothy Chalamet will play a young Willy Wonka prior to opening the world's most famous chocolate factory. Wait, that the only fun thing about Willy Wonka is his chocolate factory. No one wants to watch two hours of Willy Wonka and the associate's degree in confectionery management. Quarantine while. To combat vaccine hesitancy, CVS is handing out prizes for COVID-19 vaccinations. Folks can win one of more than 1,000 prizes, including a seven-day cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line. A cruise ship? Really? That's just trading one disease for a 1,000 others. That's like the fire department rewarding people who install smoke alarms with a box of oily rags. Quarantine while. Scientists have identified this fossil as that of a shark eating a squid, which is eating a lobster, all in one fossil, or as it's known by its scientific name, the paleoducan. Quarantine while. In an effort to develop new ways to create fresh water, scientists are zapping clouds with electricity to make rain. That is so us. Hey, pollution's getting pretty serious. Could we stop putting all of our garbage and runoff into the streams? Or what about this? We torture the sky. Okay, where are the clouds' nipples? <laughs> They're using electricity because when cloud droplets have a positive or negative electrical charge, the smaller droplets are more likely to merge and grow to become big raindrops. This is a major breakthrough in me realizing that I have no idea what clouds are or how they work. Big sky pillows, sometimes there, sometimes not. Sometimes angry because wind. And now, 
you can jumpstart them. Quarantine while. You probably missed the recent hubbub surrounding Kansas State Representative Mark Samsel, seen here at his electronic ankle bracelet fitting. In addition to being a state legislator, Samsel moonlights as a substitute teacher. And last month, he got in a bit of hot water for disciplining a student by allegedly kicking them in the testicles because God told him to do it. The Lord does work in mysterious ways. I mean, who can forget that classic Bible story? And the Lord said unto Abraham, kick Isaac in the beanbag. And thus Abraham did it, and God saw that it was hilarious. <laughs> we'll be right back with Bradley Whitford.